the beginning, God created Adam and Eve. Uh, excuse me, Professor. I, I hate to interrupt, but weren't Adam and Eve uh, naked when they were first created? Uh, 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 quite right. Uh, but for the sake oh, of our oh. viewers, now, God had given them everything their hearts desired. He gave them each other a very lovely place to live, and the important task of naming all the creatures in the garden. Let's call that a yellow-crested loud talker. Let's call it a cockatoo. Why? Because it looks, looks like a cockatoo. In addition, God had provided for them all the sustenance they could ever need from all the trees in the garden, except for one tree. This right here is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God says if we eat of that tree, we die. Got it? I got it. Now, one day, while Adam and Eve were walking past the forbidden tree, she came upon a crafty creature, a real snake, who wanted to deceive her. The serpent said to her, Nice day, huh? Excuse me, but do snakes talk? Yes. This one could. And such lovely trees. I guess they do. Uh, yes, it is. And so good for food. Oh, you're never going to believe what I heard. It must be a ridiculous rumor, but uh, perhaps you can enlighten me. <clears throat> Did God really say you mustn't eat from any of the trees in the garden? Oh, no, he said we could eat from any tree we wanted, except for this one. I see. Well, I can certainly see why God wouldn't want you to eat from this one. Why? Oh, you don't know, do you? Well, you're not very clever, are you? What do you mean? Why, this is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Well, of course, everybody knows that. Oh. Good for you. Maybe you are smart after all. Now, do you know why God doesn't want you eating from this tree? It's because he wants to keep you from being smart and wise like he is. Don't you want to be wise, Eve? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I've always... And by always, I mean, since I was created a few days ago, wanted to be wise. I think that would make Adam so proud. Yes, it would now, wouldn't it? Go ahead, take a bite. Well, it is after all lunchtime. Yes, and I'm sure you're famished. What with all the naming and such that God is making you do. Go ahead, I won't tell. 